This is probably the only thing we're going to get today. I, I can walk around again later, but I didn't really see anything I wanted. Um, Daisy needed a wallet. Is this a shoe clip or a pin? It's a hair clip. Oh, that's a hair clip. That's an older one. No, it's definitely nice and rhinestone uh, These three pieces are um, Chico's, which mm. is new, but... Chico's is expensive, Look, you say? this one was fifty nine fifty. Wow. And it's nice. It's got, this is nice for the Yeah, holidays. a nice rhinestone one. Yeah. And this one with the two, it actually has real turquoise, hmm. and it has matching earrings. Oh, okay. So it's nice. And then this third chain, which I know you like stuff that dangles on it. Yeah, you okay. know, for what she gave it to me for, Chico's is expensive. Yeah, Chico's is expensive. All right, I'll this try and walk true. around. Maybe I'll get something. Here's a quick uh, view of the place. Uh, Here, you can it's, see it's, that back. Okay. Uh, it, it's basically the place is filled. I'll show my setup. I actually got to spread out today more than I normally would. Um, all right, I, I actually, I'm still, I'm still setting up, so I'm, I'm going to keep setting up. All right. Saturday, uh, Marie's entering in the address of where we're going. We're going to St. Leo's Church. Where's St. Leo's Church again? Elmwood. Elmwood Park. Um, look, they broke that into pieces. Furniture. Um, we've been there one time before. I don't, we don't really know uh, what to expect so much. Um, we're doing two flea markets this weekend. There isn't really much shopping, and I've actually been getting a lot of stuff because of the store, like things that are actually good for flea markets. Not really as good for the store, um, but definitely good for flea markets. I could just sell the stuff cheap. So really no need to even go shopping today. Just might as well make money. I've been spending money buying stuff on that anyway. You know? um, but this one's an indoor one. And uh, we did it one time outside, but uh, it's too cold now. Today's like really cold. It's like I can't do it. No, no, but it's rough. I much. I, I don't like doing inside, but I, but I would do inside or not do any flea market at all. It would oh, be one why of the is it just acquiring satellites? Oh my God, this thing broke. Technology. What is that? It oh, the shell. Oh, it's around here somewhere. It's got to be on the floor. You know, I thought I saw a piece of it. I might have picked it up and put it there. Uh, the necklace broke. Acquiring satellites, come on! Oh, it's calculating. Now. Where the hell are the satellites? Oh, <laughs> it's not, maybe it's got too cold over Yeah, it's cold. Technology does not like the cold. There we go. All right, now we know where to go. We're on our way. Um, I don't know if it'll be a lot, a lot of vendors, but we should do it right now. Uh, this one I don't know because it was a late addition. Yeah. Um, Now it's smaller? Okay. Because less... Competition. Yeah, less competition. Well, honestly, I'm going to have... I have As long as people come and not... You know, today's a day to go to the mall, too. But Maybe. Especially around there because it's Bergen County. Do you think the people in that... And Bergen County sells a blue law. Do you think the people that know of that church are in that area are mall people, though? Because they really are. Like, mall people are not flea market people. And flea market people are not really it's mall Christmas. people. It's Christmas. Every... Well, People yeah. are buying everything online. That's true too. My one of my crossing guard uh, friends told me she did all her shopping on QVC. QVC, is that is so QVC still on TV it's, yeah, or? It's home shopping. Yeah. But it's still on TV, huh? Yeah. Oh. So she did all her shopping on QVC. How about getting that in your cable package? And, I need my what QVC. They're, what they're doing is uh, they allow you to return until January 30th. Hmm. So if people don't like what they got, they can just return it and get something else, I guess. Or money back, I don't probably know. credit. Um, and of course, Amazon like delivers the next day. Or yeah, supposedly they've been the screwing up. Of, so. <clears throat> they've been screwing up with that, like their delivery. Yeah, I saw that on the news last night that, that people are complaining they're not getting their their packages. Yeah, it's normal people complaining. Turn left on. Uh, all right. That looks like that guy had his that guy has his windows open. Would you believe that guy? The guy in a silver car. Maybe he smoked. Jesus. Smoke all right. I mean that's so crazy though. It's like, wait, you drive. More than like five miles an yeah, hour, and it's like a windy the gale. Cigarette outweighs <coughs> the cold. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> when I used to smoke and it was cold out, I'd be like, eh. I used you to go outside. Really, no, you weren't a real smoker. Yeah. You just like, I don't know. I, I smoked real cigarettes. <laughs> you, you smoked real cigarettes? No, I know. I wasn't like hardcore. She 
wasn't a hardcore smoker. You know, she had, you know, she craved cigarettes. She, they mostly just hung out of her mouth with an yeah. ash like two inches long. Do you remember when I give your dad you the know? cigarettes? What do you do? But my dad. Remember what he do when he I gave him a cigarette? Driven around with the window open to have a smoke. Nah, he would just leave the smoke in the car. No. It's better. <laughs> you get more of the smoke. You don't waste don't any. Know. It's like not wasteful. But uh, what I was gonna say, remember what your dad would do when I would give him a cigarette? What? He'd go, let me have one of your cigarettes, right? <laughs> You don't remember what he would do? He ripped the filter Exactly. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's too hard. I need more smoke. And then he's like, what the hell you got this stupid filter <laughs> in you? Give me the tar. Give me the smoke. All of it. But those were the days, right? <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're going to St. Leo's. I'm sure it'll be nice. That There's going to be, like, definitely some nice stuff there. And uh, we'll see what happens at the end of the day. Hopefully something interesting will happen. Maybe we'll even find something. You know? But anyway, yeah. on the way. Here we go. See you there, I guess. All right, you know what? Um, I just started, and I'm mostly set up. I might squeeze some stuff in uh, onto the table a little bit later, uh, but for right now, this is this is where I'm at. Uh, my games. These are common games. I'm just doing four, three for ten on those today. Uh, these are some of my price games. Always negotiable. Some more. Priced and then AJ, some of AJ's games are in the back. I'll just show the titles of AJ stuff in case anybody's interested and wants to pick that stuff up. Those are mine, actually. Uh, let's see. Any more stuff from AJ? Oh, I got a small uh, Sega Genesis from AJ. And then these are my consoles. I only bring a lot of consoles. Today I'm doing mostly toys. Uh, this is the kind of toys I've had out before. But the rest of this is, is like new stuff that I just kind of put to the side. Waiting for a week until when we get close to Christmas, which is now. Or almost now. The Hot Wheels, they're from 2000 or earlier. 90s mostly. So I'm gonna, today I'm going to do $2.00 free for five on these. These wrestlers, this is the first time they're out. So I'm going to go for it. The, I don't really expect to sell very much at this market anyway. So because there's just there's not a lot of traffic. Yeah, I mean, it might pick up, but I don't know. So today I'm going to go for it. I'm going to tell people $10, 3 for 25 on anything here. And I know there's some bargains here. Pops, I think I'll just, I'll still, I still got enough decent ones to just stick at the $5. And then these, these are like the best ones. One's even signed. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to go for it again since this is the first time they're out. And there are like 20 to 30 something dollar once here, so I'm going to tell people 15, but I'll go three for 40. Not a super bargain. Let me just show. And then what happened today is a vendor didn't show up, so we got we were able to spread out. So I'm just going to show Marie's stuff. Um, this is probably her least expensive jewelry. Here she used her shelf, uh, her normal display, her showcase. She put a lot of stuff out today, huh? She yes, she did. And then. There's my, uh, what I do is I spread out the CDs onto this side since we had the extra space. I wouldn't have been able to put everything out. I would have had to decide. Yeah, uh, one of the vendors didn't show, so they let us fill, which was nice of them. Um, so anyway, this is the CDs and the uh, DVDs and Blu-rays. I put them out for $2.50, uh, $2 which I normally do. All right, anyway, like, there's people at my space. Let me go. What's that? $2.50 for five, same as CDs. Just keeping it the same. Anyway, here's my space. Okay, good. I'm going to just uh, go back to work. All right, so anyway, here's a quick view of the market. And as you can see, there's people here. It's actually still kind of early in the morning. It's definitely before noon. Um, people are milling about. I think it'll get a little crowded as the day progresses. I may not have the time to show how crowded it gets. I think right now it's maybe a little after 11, um, which is still relatively early. But anyway, I'm set up, uh, so we'll see what happens. Here's a good angle where you can see most of the market. Uh, it's gotten a little bit crowded. I've started to make a little bit of money, which is nice. Um, I would say today there's like maybe, maybe 40 vendors, rough guess. So this is one of the smaller markets. Tomorrow we're going to be at Wayne Powell, if anybody's interested. If you want to find me there. Um, that's a much larger market. It'll have a lot more vendors and a bigger selection. 
Anyway, you can see. People are walking by. It's, it's, uh, for a small market, it's not horrible or anything. All right, anyway, let me go do something and get back to work. All right, um, I almost forgot to record what I'm going to call the best hand truck dump in my life. What happened was I was taking this hand truck loaded with all this stuff down that ramp. And if you see what's in this, it's all loose DVDs. CDs, and if it had flipped, I would have been spending a half an hour picking that stuff. But guess how nice and neatly it fell? It just kind of like dumped right there, and then and this slid over here, and that one actually slid all the way to over there, so I didn't even have to pick it up. So for me, I don't know if it'll have ever happen again, but if I'm gonna dump stuff, if I, I'm gonna drop stuff, or dip, tip over a hand truck, that's how I want it to happen every time. <laughs>